morning! This morning, I am working in my workroom to go through jewelry that I have and decide if it's something I'm going to be selling individually, something I'm going to be putting into a, one of my mixed or craft lots, or something that I might put in one of my wearable sellable lots that I do. I've gotten a lot of requests to talk through my thought process as far as which items I choose to lot in different ways and which items that I choose to sell in my shop individually. So because I have quite a backlog here and I have a ton of stuff that I have sorted through in the past but have just kind of not touched, I thought it'd be a good time to go through and show you my process and then also put some lots together so you can see how I create those lots. I don't do the lots on eBay anymore. I may in the future, but the lots where you see people have staged out all the jewelry and it looks amazing and there are people that are really, really good at that. I have learned that I'm not and <laughs> it's something that anybody can do with practice and with patience and with, um, yeah, you just, you see what works and you kind of go in that direction. And of course, I'm sure just like anything, if you focus on it and put your attention to it, you can learn how to do it better, which I'm telling this to myself. But because I have my, my iron in so many fires, um, it's just not an area that I'm focusing on right now. But I think one um, thing for those of you who are interested in doing that is it's important to build a, I don't want to say fan base, but a customer base people that uh, have gotten lots from you before and you are consistently sending the kinds of things that they want to buy. So that being said, you know, I've gotten the question, how do these people that are selling these lots or even just selling jewelry, how do they, how do they do it? Their pictures aren't, you know, amazing. Their, their descriptions are kind of, uh, but it's that, that customer base that continues to come back because they know what they're getting from that person. So it's, you know, everybody has to do what's right for them and their business, so you got whatever works, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm working with here. It's a big mess, but it's organized chaos, and I get comments every time I show my workroom. When I, even the last time I showed it, I thought I was I was doing such a good job, like it's so organized, it's way better than it usually is. I still got comments about Oh my gosh, <laughs> OCD nightmare. But but it is organized chaos, and, and I, I can work in here. And side note also, my house does not look like this, so this is my place that I can, I don't know, excuses, right? Reasons. Another thing is, you know, because I homeschool, as soon as I get done with something, I don't always have time to clean it up in here, So because I, I have to go and do the next thing. So that's another reason that it just gets But this weekend I have dedicated to going through this stuff and getting my workroom organized or cleaned up. So that's what's happening. Anyway, jewelry time. All right, let me show you this. So when I do my videos and I am going through things and I'm sharing, oh, I'm gonna put that into a lot, just like a mixed craft lot. Uh, this is what I do. I throw it in this tub. I have another one over here. I'm kind of low at the moment. And the things that I choose to put in here sometimes look okay. Like that looks like an okay pair of earrings. It doesn't seem to be missing any dangles. This is something I probably could sell. Uh, it is also something I probably could put in one of my lots where I sell, you know, 10 sellable pieces. But I put it in here uh, because it looks maybe a, a little bit lower quality and I mean it's still sellable I think. And then also that gives the craft lot, the mixed lot, some you know good stuff, some you know broken stuff like this one is missing an earring so that came in here. And I know some of you sell uh, ear single earring lots which I'm considering. Then this one you know, I'm not going to go through all of this. Don't worry. Uh, this, you know, this is again sellable. I actually was planning on selling it. Uh, it's Christmas jewelry. But then I thought, you know what? This is another thing that could go into the mixed craft lots as far as somebody... Whoops, there goes the earrings. Well, now they're in there. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay, so, uh, and then, you know, just things like 
like this or a broken thing. These earrings, one of the orange pieces has broken off, but it just needs to be repaired. So things like that go in here. I know I have another, you know, or it's got loose elastic, things like that. So then what I do is I take a bubble mailer and I fill it up with between three and four pounds. And usually I just grab, you know, handfuls off the top and weigh it. Then I take this bubble mailer and I put it inside this bubble mailer. And this is a flat rate envelope. That way I can uh, charge $8 for shipping. And that is how my craft and mix lots go out. That one's actually one that's getting ready to go out. But I got cold away because that's what happens when you're a mom or a human, I guess. Anybody. I wanted to share with you some of the things uh, that I do with recently acquired jewelry. And I got these orange, oh yeah, orange, yellow uh, trays at the bins one of my last trips. They were in a, you know, a U-line box and there was a bunch of them. So I have been taking them and using them. So what I do, because a lot of times when I create videos about jewelry, I get messages saying I'd like such and such piece, you know, I'd like to buy that. So this is a, a way I can organize it so that I can find it when someone asks about it. So in this bathtub right here, I put all the bracelets. Then over here, these are all the earrings and I try to put, you know, mates together in here. So that's all the earrings. And then in these different trays, I have necklaces. I don't know if I'm lining it up right or not. Uh, so necklaces. And then I'll have one with like miscellaneous stuff that's not, you know, like these little stones or things that are broken that I think are cool or that, that don't fall into other categories. You know, and here's one with all the brooches. So if somebody says, hey, I, want, I wanted to find out about that brooch. I know I can just go find the tub that has the brooch in it. And there's one with rings and stuff as well. So. That's what I do with my newly acquired jewelry after I've shared it in a video because then at this point, um, after a while, then I can start moving it towards taking photographs of it, which is why it's right in front of my, let's see, right there, my photo tent there and I have the little white one up on top. So probably with the jewelry, I'll use the little white one and put it in front of the window to get the natural light. So, <laughs> now you can see behind me. No, you can see behind me. Oh, it's blurry. Oh, it's blurry. There we go. So, when I'm creating my lots of, I, I sell 10 pieces uh, of wearable, sellable jewelry, and I sell them for three or 350 a piece, and then shipping on top of that, so you would get three pieces or whoever bought it would get. So how I de determine those things are, I have a bunch of jewelry over there that I use to create lots with. And that used to be where I also pulled for my craft lots. So at this point, that's why I need to go through it and decide, is this something I'm gonna put in a craft mix lot or is this something I'm gonna put into a, a 10 piece jewelry lot? Now that being said, sometimes when I'm creating those lots, I will come over here and pull from items that I was going to sell individually because I want to make sure that there's, you know, some wow pieces in the lots or things that I would think are wow pieces. You can only go off of what, you know, what you know. So let's go over there, take a look at all of that mess and see what, what we've got going on. We've got a Daniel right there. Hi Daniel, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dan Dan? You're so sweet, kitty. He is the sweetest little kitty. He's so sweet. Okay, so I was organizing my jewelry, pardon me for a second, over here. The, my jewelry that I was going to be selling and jewelry that I was using for lots. The problem was that it was constantly getting blocked by hauls that I would bring in or other things. And so I'm going to go through this area and kind of sort jewelry and get rid of stuff or, or sort it into new areas. So down here I've got some of the tubs that I've pulled out that I'm deciding if I'm putting into a craft lot or if I'm going to be selling. I also have some things that are just kind of mixed in here that I know like, ah, oh, this is silver. I need to get a, a tub for just like 
silver jewelry that I, so when I go to list it, I have all the silver stuff together and it's good to go. Okie dokie. So the first thing I've got here is a bunch of just crafty stuff. There's some glass beads in there I might pull out for my sister. But most of the rest of this I'm going to put in a bag uh, in order to add it to just like a craft lot. Because there's some good pieces in here for people that are crafting with jewelry. I don't think she would want all of that. Who knows? We got there in the end. So all of that is going to go into a craft lot and I may save this because sometimes I'll have people ask like for the bottom of the box because they know I just kind of pull from the box and they'll say I want all the junk at the bottom. Can you send me all the little bits and etc from the bottom of the box and so I can save this to the side for someone who says that's what they're looking for. They like to go through all the little the little bits of things. So that's what that is. Next, these are some that I got in that $500 lot and there are earrings in here that some are ones I was planning on selling and others are ones that I was gonna put in a lot. I mean, just, they're all mixed up. So I decided let's go ahead and take the time now to see what we're gonna do with them. So here I would open these up. First of all, I've got these crystals. I'm going to give those to my sisters for, for her, some of her uh, wind chimes. Then I just kind of go through and decide what do I have in here. These look like they're probably silver, so I've got to double check those. Uh, and these I'll probably put into, if they're not silver, into a craft lot. I'll hook them together so they don't get separated. And then these are some that I might actually try to sell because the, there's Jasper, there's a cool piece. There's, those are pretty unusual and cool looking. So let me set up some boxes here to sort. So I'm just going to go quickly through these earrings and then I'll show you some of the other stuff so you get a wider variety of things that I, in my thought process of going through stuff. So I said on the last little clip I, these are some i'm going to try to sell the reason being uh, that there are people that like this stone or stone in, in general it's got a nice mix of metal and coloring that i think they're unique and this is something i like selling and so i'm guessing i'll probably put these around 20 dollars or so the next step are these earrings which i think are probably silver so i've got my my loop and my magnet here and these are marked 925, so these are ones that I will put in my to sell. And actually, I'm going to go ahead now and start a silver, because I know I've got a ton of silver stuff that I have all just mixed in with other things. I'm hooking these together. I'm hooking them together so I don't let's get them lost. Anyway, so I'm going to start a little tub for when I find silver. I'll throw it in there. These earrings... Again, these are not magnetic. Let me go look. These are also marked 925, which kind of surprised me. Usually when I see backs like that, they're not. But these are also marked 925. I'm going to put them with my silver. Probably when I see them again, I'm going to want to test them just to make sure. Let's pull out another pair. These look like they're probably silver as well. I'm trying to see if I can see a mark. Yeah, there's a mark right there. So these I'm hooking together to put with my silver. These I will sell. All right, these are little wooden earrings. Let me pull just down so I can find the mate. So these earrings would probably sell. However, I'm probably going to put them into a craft lot rather than a, a 10 piece wearable sellable lot. I think they're a good pair for a craft mix lot. Uh, if I got these and I was just buying 10 pieces of jewelry, I probably wouldn't be really thrilled. Yeah, they're sellable. They'll make more than three bucks, but these are going to go to a craft lot. Let's see. I am partial to jewelry with coins. 
So even though these, these are not like amazing, they don't quite match, I think somebody will definitely like these. So I'm going to put these in my box that I'm going to sell. And also as we're going through this, if at any time you're like, I would like to sell that, that's awesome. I would tell me because I... I'm only going off of what I think, you know? So these are another three pairs that I think could sell. These are kind of iffy, but these two are ones that, you know, they probably sell. But again, I'm gonna probably put those in a craft wear repair lot because they're not anything like super wow uh, to go into a mix lot that I would want to pay three bucks. I think they would sell them. So these, I'm on the fence. These ones I will probably put into a lot for, you know, one of 10 things to sell, 10 piece lots. Okay, so that I will put over here. Same thing with these, pardon. Personally, I love these. And I think somebody would definitely like these. So this is a pair that I'm probably not gonna sell, but I'll put in with the lot for 10 pieces. Then, what do we have here? So these are some nice ones. So these are nice, they, they're probably like carnelian and uh, tiger's eye and turquoise. So these are ones I'm on the fence about. Like I would love to sell these. I think these are awesome. But I think these are also some nice ones for the 10 item lot because it's a nice you know, natural like gemstone. These are faceted and I would be happy to get those. These are our earrings that I'm going to put in a box for me to sell. I love things again with the coin, with the centurion. This has got a lot of cool stuff. They almost look like a couture, you know, style. So I'm going to sell those. We'll go through the rest of these and then we'll move on to some other stuff. So these hoops I am going to put just in a craft lot, mixed wear repair lot. Same thing with these brown ones with the leaves. They'll go into a craft lot. Where is your hook? There it is. Okay, so you're pretty cool. These, ooh, I, I'm on the fence. I'm gonna hook this back on here, but I'm on the fence about either selling it or putting it into 10 items. I might go ahead and put this for me to sell. I like that these are not faceted normally. They're pretty cool. These are some sort of stone. They're cold to the touch. But I'm going to put these in a craft lot. Finishing it out. These I'm going to put in uh, 10 items. These go to the craft lot. There's a solo. Maybe I'll find your mate. Did I already? I feel like I saw this. So craft lot. And then these, I don't think they're silver. So these will go to a craft lot as well. So as I go through, I check things I'm not certain about with the magnet to see if it is possibly silver that I can put with my silver jewelry. And as I go through these, I tried to speed it up a little bit because it did get very long. But things that are nice, things that are um, that have natural stone, I tend to sell myself, or I'll put in a ten item lot. Things that maybe I think I could see at Charming Charlie or places like that. Unless it's something pretty unique, then I will put it in the mixed lot to to sell. There's some silver or things I'm testing. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. Those are silver. Those are really pretty. And uh, turn the music back on and sort through some of these. And then we will jump on to some different things and go from there. Those are cool. Where did I put that? Okay, good. <laughs>
So that's uh, those earrings that I've done from that box. So these are ones that will go into a 10 piece lot. Of course, it won't be all earrings. I try to mix it up. These are ones that will go to a mixed lot, you know, craft wear repair. And these are ones that I am planning on selling. And then there was quite a few sterling silver ones that went into the box here. So the next bin that I'm going through has got bracelets, necklaces, all kinds of things from hauls past that I have just set aside. And I, it looks like a lot of bracelets. So maybe this was, oh, there's other stuff in there. Um, things that I need to sort through and decide. Am I selling? Am I lotting? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So let's dive into this one. So first up are those Swarovski crystal earrings. I'm going to sell those. This is a bangle. I think there's a mark in there. I think it ended up saying Monet. It had some wear to it, so I was on the fence about which place to put it. So I decide I'm going to go ahead and try to sell it. The, most of the wear was on the inside of the bracelet. Next up was a sweet little kind of rhinestone tennis bracelet. I'm going to put that in a 10 lot. It did have a hang tag. I can't remember what it was, though. Next up are these mixed metal bangles, which I really enjoy selling. So let's see. I did this. I recorded it a couple days ago. There we go. Yep, I'm going to sell those. And then this beautiful Lucite bracelet. Uh, can you guess what's going to happen with this one? So that is one I will definitely sell. Next up is this wraparound leather bracelet with a silver buckle. I'm putting it in my silver tub. And then these earrings I've had for a while, I, I'm tempted to keep them, but they look like little pagodas to me. I just love them. And so this one is really unusual too. Sometimes when I have really cool, unusual things like that, that I want to sell, I hesitate putting them into a 10 item lot because I worry that somebody else won't see the uniqueness and coolness of it. Uh, this link bracelet, it's probably Jasper. Oops, I jumped. Um, I'm going to sell. And then here's this Alex and Annie Jets bracelet that I will also sell. These earrings, I like them. They're lightweight. They're actually plastic, but I decided oh, I'm going to go ahead and put them into a mixed lot. And then these, same thing. I think they're really cool. They're big. They're unique. Uh, I might have put them in a 10 item lot, but like I say, I don't know that everybody else would think they're as awesome and cool as I do. This is from Pirates of the Caribbean, and it is a necklace that I will sell. Things that go with movies that have big fan bases can do pretty well. This nice little panel open work kind of filigree looking one, even though it's got wear to the back, I don't think it's going to deter or detract too much from the price. So it is one that I will sell. When it comes to things that have wear, things like that that have the wear to the back that aren't really going to detract from how cool it is, I, I tend to go ahead and sell. This one I put in a mixed lot. I'm, I'm on the fence about taking it out because I think it's pretty cool with the different stones. Watches I'm still putting in for me to sell right now, unless it's just a meh, Geneva type watch that isn't, you know, super unique. I still have to do research on that. This one is pretty good. I like the, it's kind of got this heavy set to it with the big stones and stuff. So that's one that I, I think I'm probably going to be selling. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's any of these things that you would have done something different with, or if you have any questions as I go along, because uh, yeah, that's where, how I know to make better content for you guys. So yeah, this is going, oh, I'm putting it in silver. I don't think that it's silver, but I think I put it in there to test because I don't remember there being a mark on it. Now this one, this nice embossed, probably a repousse, but you can't really see the back because they have a backing on it. That's one I will definitely sell. I think it's gorgeous, darlings, gorgeous. Nice leaves and everything. Am I trying to talk myself out of it probably at this point in the video? Look how beautiful it is. This is a nice bangle, and I believe it opens. Yeah, there's a little safety clasp opening on it. And I put that with my silver stuff. I double check it and then I'll list it. And then this little bracelet, it's got some really cool charms on it. 
And this is one that is also marked silver, so I put it in my tub with all my silver stuff. Then I really like mixed metal things like this. So it's, I'm on the fence about whether I should sell it or if I should put it in a 10 item lot that's wearable and sellable. I, let's see what I decide. I can't remember now what I decided to do with this one. It's, again, my worry is I hope people would like it as much as I do. I think I decided to test it or else I saw a, a mark on it. <laughs> Look at these. They're kind of like flowers. They're kind of like tassels. They're facels. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. So I think I go ahead and leave that in the 10 item lot. I love this. I think it's so bright and colorful. I can see someone really loving it, wearing like a long maxi dress or something. Super cool. So definitely think I can sell that. If you notice, a lot of the times the things that I'm putting in the 10 item lot, I don't, I don't know what this is. It was in my stuff. Are, the things I put in the 10 item lot are things that I I think I could sell, and I, but it may be something that would be more universally liked by people. This red plastic necklace is marked, I believe, Sarah Coventry. So I decide I'm going to put it in my sell pile and then look it up because I'm not quite sure what it sells for. So like this is a great example. This is something I think I could sell, but I think uh, this would go great in a 10 item lot, kind of as a wow piece. So I go ahead and put it over there for, for that because I think it's something that's more widely liked. This necklace... I think these are silver chains, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I just put them in my silver box over there. These are pretty cool earrings. They're clip-ons. They've got a nice frame, nice black clip-ons. So those go in the 10 item lot. This is a sweet little silver bracelet that has inlay like rainbow different colors. I really like that one. So that's going in my silver box to list. These clip-ons, I love this pink enamel. I I'm going to sell those. I wish I wore stuff like that because I think they're so pretty. Next is this giant intaglio pendant. And it's kind of got this hematite look to it. I'm not sure that it's hematite. It might be. I go ahead and put that in my 10 item lock. Again, looking for some really cool kind of wow pieces. These knots, I think, end up being silver. I don't know. Apparently, I, I don't think so in the moment. So I put them in my mixed lot. And then there's this little uh, pin. It's got this, I don't know, Dairy Maiden or something. I don't know. I'll have to do some research on her, but I, th I think she's pretty cute. And then look at this. This is like a, it's like a landscape jasper, I think. I'll have to do a little more digging on what I think this stone is, but it's something I will definitely sell. Then there's this really cool swirl silver bracelet. It's a link bracelet. And it has a, you know, fold over clasp. Definitely going to sell that. This one, little silver bracelet or anklet, I think it was a little bit bigger. So it went straight into my silver lot. And then these are, I can't tell from this angle if they're just a little faux cameo. I think it's a little faux cameo pin. This is a belt. So I go ahead and put this that I'm going to sell it kind of like this concho style belt. I don't know how people would feel about getting a belt in a 10 item jewelry lot. So I kind of avoid that. This is a silver bangle. So that one ends up going into my, my silver box as well. Then these bracelets are still connected together from wherever I got them, garage sale or something. I, I don't know that I paid that much for them. I, the tag says $10, but I, I don't find, I don't think I would have spent that much on these. They're plastic. They're, uh, this one is pretty cool. I think, you know, I would have to do a little um, test on it to see if it was Bakelite. It looks promising. And then the others just appear to be just plastic. I think one of them may have been wood. So I'm going to look a little bit deeper into that one that I think might be like a root beer Bakelite, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to do a little test on that. Then this is one that's plastic. It looks like tortoiseshell. We just talked about tortoiseshell recently. So I was rubbing it to kind of see if I could smell it. I might pull it back out when I do a tortoiseshell uh, video so that we can compare with real tortoiseshell. Then this one is silver and it's inset with what I believe is green turquoise, but I'll have to double check. Another little silver bracelet. I didn't even have to look because you can see there when you separate it, the, the part that gets covered up 
the tarnish hasn't affected that part, so it's still super shiny. So it goes with the silver. I really like this bracelet. It's got like fabric, you know, threading, but then it's got these long beads and, and little coins that hang off of it, toggle clasp. I put it in my 10 item. I think, I feel like I move it. I go back and forth about it. And then this, what is, what color is this y'all? Brown? But it's not quite. It's like butterscotch or something. It's just so unique and different that, and it, I don't know. I just like it. It's weird and I like it. Okay, that's all. This bangle, it's a hinged bracelet. And the stone that's in there, I think probably is sodalite. There's a mark I'll have to look at. But it's off center, which I think is pretty cool. So that's one I will sell. Get a load of these. These clip-ons have got, I mean, they're pastel colored. Watch. I go back and forth. I'm like, I'm going to sell these. No, I'm going to put them in a 10 item lot. Again, I'm always looking for something in my 10 item lot when some, when people get them that, that it's like got a wow factor. At least one of the pieces that I think is a wow. Uh, I don't know. Look, I go back and forth. These, one, those, these ones are cool, these ones. Here we've got a tiger side. It's got like a Greek key design around the frame of it. Uh, we'll happily sell that. And this is a Pandora bracelet. Sometimes they're not as clearly marked, but this one has the Pandora hang tag on it. So I'll sell that. And these are all scarf clips, and some of them are more plain than others. But there are a couple that, and this one that's like iridescent, I just looked something up with that, and I can't remember what it's called. It's got a name to it, and I can't think of what it is. But these are ones that I will sell. Some of the ones that are maybe a little more plain, I might lot up. I'm not 100% sure. I'll just have to go look and see. Something with a coin. I'm just drawn to it. I guess it's the money. That mad money, honey. And this bracelet had little cacti on it, so it was pretty cute, going to a tent item lot. And this is a pretty showy, blingy necklace that I end up putting, I think, also in a tent item. Yep, going to the tent item lot over there. Then we've got these screwback cameos. Uh, I think that they will sell. They might take a little longer, but they're pretty cute, so I put them with the 10 item. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I think this is amazing. And I, if I'm afraid if I sent that to somebody else, they would look at it and go, what in the world was she thinking? <laughs> so yeah, I'll sell that. I'll sell the coins. And then this giant pendant, I'm like, mm, I can see someone liking it. So it goes in the mix a lot. And then this bracelet, this link bracelet, I think it had a maker's mark and I can't remember what it is now. And watch, this pendant, I put it in the 10 item lot, but now I'm like, oh, maybe I should go drag that out and put it for me to sell. I love it. Again, this one with this big pendant, cool chain, magnetic closure, that's going to the 10 item lot. It's stuff that I think I could sell. Coins, you know where that's going. Okay, I have trouble shooting, or taking pictures of really super long necklaces. So even though I think that would sell, it's going to the 10 item lot because I'm just trying to imagine taking pictures of it and they're like, oh no. <laughs> Those earrings, yeah, mixed lot. And this bracelet I end up putting in the mixed lot and I can't figure out why. There must have been something that I saw. Look at all the Texas stuff. Longhorn, Alamo, I'm gonna sell it if I don't keep it. Okay, so these earrings are some that I got from, what's this, 1925 or 1928? I always get the name mixed up. But those are some that I got that were from that brand. They did a little mystery lot where you got a few pieces, earrings and stuff. They had a Downton Abbey line. These are bowling pins and I have some others. So I'm putting those with my other bowling pins to, to lot up together. And then this I think would sell, but I go ahead and put it in a mixed lot as well as those. I love these colors. I, I love them even more on the camera because they're so they're like that romantic, soft, sweet colors. Look at this gorgeous choker. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm going to sell that. Beautiful. And this beaded one I end up putting in a mixed lot. I like it. I like the colors a lot. And same with this charm bracelet. I think it's got like teacher stuff on it. I think. Okay, and tell me what you think about this. I I hesitate putting 
religious items into not, not so much the mixed lots, but the 10 item lots, because I'm afraid somebody might not appreciate that. Now this brooch, I put in the mixed lot, but I take it out later because I find the stone and I, I glue the stone back in. So it has a nice little red cabochon in there. So this, I think there was some wear to that bracelet with a little ballet slipper, so I put it in a mixed lot. This one is cool, this blingy one, but it's missing a stone. Then same thing with this one. It's kind of like it's cute and all, it's pink and cute, but uh, I'll put it in a mixed lot. Then we've got this one, which I think is so fun with these big red flowers. I almost wish they were poppies, but they're not. But this is one that I put in a 10 item lot. Now this one I would have sold in a heartbeat, but it's missing a stone or two. So it ends up going into a, a craft lot because I don't have the stone and I don't really fix stuff like that. See, this is another one. I think it's magnificent, but I would worry about sending it to somebody who didn't see its awesomeness. And these look like little sea urchins or something. They're so fun. So yeah, that is a bracelet that's going in a 10 item lot. And I went back and forth about this gray one as well. I love these kind of barrel cylinder beads. And this one had quite a bit of wear. I thought it was really unique and cool. You can't open it. And it's kind of bent up, so mixed lot you go. Then these are just little cheapy tin bracelets and bangles. Ah, uh, sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Oh. So this sassy tassel, th these beads are kind of rubbery and it's like a, like almost a prayer bead type of deal. So that I'm going to give to my sister with the sassy tassel. Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. This is a fun one. It's really a, a nice collar, kind of bib style. Uh, that, I mean, it's not a huge bib. Anyway, nice keywords anyway. So mixed lot, I don't know, maybe I should sell that. Both of these stretch bracelets end up going to a mixed lot. I think they, I mean, they might sell. Then this cool, like, medallion looking, I don't know, what do you think? Med medallion slash boho. Uh, long, it's got good colors. Then this one has got some nice blue stones in it and has a box clasp, I think. No, it's a magnetic clasp. That one's pretty cool too. But that I put into a 10 item lot as well. And then a Mickey watch. Mickey watch I will definitely try to sell. Gotta get a battery in that to get it going. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gives you a little insight into how I choose what I'm going to sell individually, what I put into a mixed craft wear repair lot, and things that I put into my 10 items that I sell that are wearable, uh, sellable lots. And yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions for other videos and I will be happy to uh, consider them. And I will talk to you on the next one. Thanks for coming by. Bye everyone.